This is a comparison of spontaneous versus tension pneumothorax. In both, when you have a pneumothorax, you have a collapsed lung, and you can see that there's air in the space between the lung and the pleura. This is the comparison. Spontaneous pneumothorax has a primary and secondary condition. If it's primary, there's no preceding event or lung disease. It usually happens in thin young men. Secondary spontaneous pneumothorax has an underlying lung disease like COPD. Tension pneumothorax is life-threatening. It's often due to trauma or mechanical ventilation. Signs and symptoms of spontaneous pneumothorax, chest pain, dyspnea, decreased breath sounds, chest movement, ipsilateral hyperresonance to percussion. Tension pneumothorax has the same symptoms, plus potential hemodynamic instability, tracheal deviation away from the affected side. On chest x-ray, a spontaneous pneumothorax will have have absent lung markings and visceral pleural line. Tension pneumothorax will have the same chest x-ray plus a contralateral mediastinal shift and ipsilateral hemidiaphragm flattening due to the high pressure. The treatment for spontaneous pneumothorax is nothing, just oxygen if it's very small, and if it's large, you could do needle, aspiration, or chest tube. In tension pneumothorax, the treatment is urgent and you need urgent needle decompression or chest tube placement.